Thank you so much, uh, Andy, uh, uh, for not mentioning where I got my PhD so I can make it out of here without a security detail. So uh, thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Uh, thank you, Lorraine, for representing the Board of Trustees again with such distinction and such passion at this commencement ceremony. And I am so, so proud and happy to be with you today celebrating this commencement of one of the phenomenal jewels of the City University of New York, our great, great Newmar Graduate School of Journalism. I want to extend a warm and enthusiastic welcome to our distinguished guests. This morning's commencement speaker, Daniel Belton, who is the editor-in-chief of the HuffPuff Post, sorry, and uh, the kind of pioneering young journalist who is blazing a trail for all our graduates here today. And to Samantha Stark, a stellar alum, who is helping make the folks next door uh, a leader in video journalism, and congratulations to our student speaker, Angela Palumbo. I am delighted to be here to congratulate the J School's 15th graduating class, and I'm so happy that we can be back in person to celebrate the achievements of today's 88 graduates and the continuing success story of our School of Journalism. Give yourselves a big round of applause. I am especially glad that we're able to be here together in person because, as you know, this is the last commencement for our beloved Dean, Sarah Bartlett. Sarah has been a force in journalism education at CUNY for two decades, predating the J School itself. And it is impossible to overstate the impact she's had in building the School of Journalism into one of the most dynamic, innovative, and influential programs in the entire country. Under her leadership, the J School has become more diverse, both in population and in purpose, and added groundbreaking and forward-looking programs at an amazing pace. Programs that are preparing a new generation of journalists to join a fast-changing industry at a time when our country has never needed the profession more programs that are helping make the industry more inclusive. I am so proud of this school, proud of its graduates, and how they reflect CUNY's mission. And I'm personally so grateful to Sara for everything she has contributed to our university and to the school. So I would like for all of us to stand up and give the loudest, biggest, noisiest standing ovation to our Dean, Sara Bartlett. The dean, the dean has said you might be seated. <laughs> but as much as we are celebrating this last commencement for Sarah, we're here to celebrate you today, our graduates. All commencements mark the achievement of graduates, the support they receive from their teachers, and the pride they feel by their families who, as we can see, are a fairly shy group here in the audience. But this year, we're celebrating something special. When I look at all 88 of you, what I see is the tenacity, resourcefulness, and the spirit that brought you to this day. You were brave to begin such a demanding professional program at a time when you couldn't meet your professors or each other in person. You couldn't even enter the J School building until a year later when you started. In this strange new remote world, you had to simultaneously learn the time-honored tools of reporting and figure out the technology of telling stories in ways that no one had before. And you did. Even amid the restrictions of the pandemic, you showed there was no limit to your determination and creativity especially when you were covering the pandemic itself. 
when people were staying home, you hit the streets to tell the stories of New Yorkers, how the city's special ed teachers were struggling to stay connected to their students, how Trader Joe's workers risked their jobs for safer pandemic working conditions, how the city began to emerge from the lockdown. So many stories and so well told by you. You overcame the obstacles and became journalists. And that's no small thing because so much of journalism is about overcoming obstacles to get the story right. You are also a group that represents the best of CUNY, its inspirational spirit and mission of student success. You probably don't know this, but all of you are evidence for one of my greatest beliefs and highest priorities as chancellor. At the end of the journey, I want to be known as a chancellor who was the patron saint of paid internships. <laughs> huh? Why? In my tombstone, right? Why? Paid internships are in integral to giving today's students and graduates the real world experience that they need to put them on the pathways to fulfilling careers and social and economic mobility. I am thrilled that each one of you leaves here with that on the job experience. I can't tell you how impressed I was when I looked at the list of media companies where you interned this past summer and the range of experiences you all had. National and community news site, audio, video, documentary, social media, social justice, everything from the LA Times to Telemundo Miami to Story Corps to the Juvenile Justice Information Exchange. Remarkable. <laughs> so now, you are indeed ready to follow in the tradition of CUNY J School's alumni who are making their mark in every corner of journalism. You are part of a new generation that will have the power to reshape journalism in the public interest to make it more relevant, more inclusive, and better able to deliver reliable information to communities that need it the most. The training you received from the School of Journalism, that's what happens when you try to not use your glasses to read the speech. <laughs> the training you received from the School of Journalism's first-rate faculty, the experiences you had in your internships, put you in position to tell the stories of our times in new and impactful ways. Normally, the chancellor, the president, or the dean at the end of the commencement will say something like, you are ready and able to take on the world. You were able and ready to take on the world when you join us, yeah. right? So now you just need to continue to do that and make us all proud. The J School, CUNY, all of us will always have you back. Felicidades, mucho éxito, and congratulations again. <laughs>